Legionari, at attention. Welcome to Legio Witrix. We are the spearhead of Rome, undefeated. It is our duty and our privilege to bring the enemies of the Republic to their knees. None can withstand the might of Rome, and we are the incarnation of that might. Today, I will teach you how to fight for your Republic. We will start with the basics. During each turn, you can advance across the battlefield, activate a skill, and use one tactical item. How far you'll be able to move depends on your armor. Light chainmail lets you move more quickly, but a heavy lamella keeps you alive. There's always the option to move further, but then you won't have time to attack that turn, so don't get isolated behind the enemy lines. <laughs> I know that look. Some of you have seen battle before. You know all this. <laughs> Very well. Here's something new. In Rome, there are no default attacks, so don't expect to just be hacking away mindlessly at the enemy. Your available attacks are based on your equipment and your character class. A weapon's attacks are randomized, and with seven different weapon types at your disposal, each with their own wide range of attacks, you'll have plenty of opportunity to get creative. Remember, a predictable soldier is a dead one. Once you learn what fighting style you favor, you can use the armory here in the outpost to customize a favorite weapon, or craft a brand new one. Remember, you're a unit. You have to learn how your skills work together to seize victory for your legion. No permanent damage. Take my gladiator friend Bestia, for example. The man has a flair for the dramatic. He likes to call out an enemy to duel them during battle. If he gets a good hit in, he can stun his opponent, setting them up for a fatal death blow from an Armedicus Cinerus. Now, the most important weapon you'll have is the Scutum, your shield, my personal specialty. Arrows stand no chance against a sturdy shield, but multiple melee attacks can wear down your shield armor until the beginning of the next turn. Don't just think about your shield as a wall to hide behind, though. In the right hands, it really can be a weapon in the most literal sense. I personally send many a barbarian to his afterlife with a strong shield bash. That should be enough to see you through your first skirmish, but there's much more to learn. You'll have to familiarize yourself with the famous Roman pilum, which is thrown at enemy heavy infantry to disable their shields. You'll have to learn to adapt your tactics and your formations to different environments. Fighting in the cramped interior of a Gallic hut is very different from meeting your enemy on a wide open field. And of course, at the end of each campaign, a spectacular siege of epic proportions awaits you, where different units of the Legion will work together to breach a fortified enemy city from multiple fronts. Time to get out there and make your legatus proud. Roma Invicta!